Hi guys! Today I thought I'd go ahead and do a tutorial. I shared this on my Instagram and I just basically whipped this up. Um, I was packing this right here and I wanted to put a big bow on it and I thought well let me go ahead and see if I can make a bow and I have plenty of ribbon so I decided to go ahead and do that and it came out so pretty look at this now this is two layers I did use the large and the medium now it does come with instructions you get the templates you get the sticker to put in the backing like that and the brads okay so I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick tutorial I did uh, use a ribbon that was nine feet I believe well this says three yards yes nine feet so with this one I was I did use the whole spool and was left with just this much using the large and the medium bow so and I did end up layering them, so I did use two brads for them, and then just the one sticker. And then I hot glue one, the medium bow over the smaller bow, because um, they recommend that you do at least two passes, and they're numbered, and it's super easy. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I only did two passes per um, size, and then I layered them. But if you want it fuller, they recommend you do three passes, meaning you're gonna end up with three loops in each arm. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I think this time I'm gonna do a medium and a small. So let's go ahead and see how that comes out. So what you wanna do um, is basically you wanna get your brad first. And we'll start off with a small one. We'll do the small one first. I believe all the brads are the same size and they want you to put the shorter end of the brad inside, like so. So you have the longer end up. And then you're gonna put this through, now let me see if this is gonna fit here because this ribbon is a little bit, uh, wider but I think it's okay and just leave a little tail like that that's how they have it in the picture and then you want to just go ahead and poke your ribbon okay and then you're gonna start off with one it's gonna go here oh I think this ribbon might be a little big hmm we'll see hopefully it stays on there Oh, sorry. Um, go ahead and just poke that in and just be very careful. It is a pretty sharp tool here. And then go on your second one. I'm not sure if this was the right ribbon I chose because it is a little bit wider. I didn't exactly plan it <laughs> but I think as long as it stays in your arm you're you're okay so go all the way around there's three okay you're basically making a figure eight there's four just follow the numbers again just be very careful you don't poke yourself and then there's five just go right under there. Okay, so that's one pass. And then you're gonna do it all over again.
So I also discovered that you can just use one bread. And so what you would just do is you start off with the smallest. And then once you have everything um, looped in there, assembled, you take it off. But don't cut your end piece. Leave it on the spool and then switch your bread over to the next size and then do it all over again. And if you wanted a bigger bow, then you would, again, take it off here and put it on this. So let's try that because I'm so curious to see. Well, I did try it with this one. This is just small and the medium size. And this is using a thinner ribbon. I think this is the 5 8 size ribbon I'm not sure it's this one right here 3 8 sorry not 5 8 3 8 size ribbon and I still have some left over but um I think I prefer the bigger ones though the um you know not so thin so again get your brad let's just try this and short side down we're gonna put this in here and make sure you have some length for your loop in the end and then <laughs> Thank you. 
that's it you guys i hope you guys like my tutorial please leave me a comment a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching bye